As Parliament and the IBC haggle over the campaign expenditure limits, details remain unavailable on how IEBC settled on the specific figures. It is also not clear what period is covered by the new law, given that election campaigns in the country begin way before the official campaign period. Our very own Sam Kituku takes a closer look at the brewing row and the possible considerations made by the IEBC. Take a look. It's a 2013 law that had been intended to be implemented from the 2017 general election. It was impossible, and so it was deferred to the 2022 elections. <laughs> campaign spending limits gazetted on Monday provide a cap on presidential campaign's expenditure to be 4.4 billion shillings. It also adds that individual contributions to a campaign shall not be more than 20% of the limit. That would mean an individual supporting a campaign can do so but not exceed 880 million shillings. IABC is yet to disclose the formula used at arriving at the figure. The Elections Campaign Financing Act provides that in IABC coming up with the limits, they shall consider the geographical features and urban centers of the electoral area. They shall consider the type of election, whether it's national for presidential, county for governorship, senate or woman representative, or constituency for an MP and award for an MC election. The population of the electoral area and communication infrastructure must be considered. The campaign finances, as per the Act, should pay for campaign venues, publicity materials, advertising, paying campaign personnel, financing transport and logistics like communication and accommodation fees. For candidates running for county seats, meaning governorship, senatorial and woman representative position, their capping has been calculated in respect of county population and geographical area to be covered. Candidates in Machakos, for instance, can spend up to 52.7 million shillings, 40.5 million shillings in Migori, 88.7 million shillings for Garissa, 39 million shillings for Muranga, as well as Mombasa counties. For constituency elections, the figures are significantly lower. Candidates in Kiamba constituency that concluded a by-election recently, for instance, are in 2022 expected to spend not more than 17 million shillings. 13.2 million shillings in Bonchari constituency, 19.8 million shillings in Georgia, 16 0.8 million shillings in Dagoretti North. Madare constituency in Nairobi has a geographical area of two square kilometers, but a population of 207,000. The expenditure limit is 15.6 million shillings. IBC has not clarified what cost items were considered for such a small geographical area. At the world level, MCA candidates will be allowed to spend a maximum of between 2 and 5 million shillings, depending on their locations. Muguga Ward in Kiambu County has a ceiling of 3.4 million shillings. Roria Ward in Yandaro County is capped at 3.3 million shillings. London Ward in Nakuru County has the limit set at 3 million shillings. Huruma Ward in Mathare constituency of Nairobi has an approximate geographical area of 0.35 square kilometers. The allowed maximum expenditure is 3.3 million shillings. Nairobi County maximum expenditure for county races, like governorship, has been set at 117 million shillings. Nairobi is, is one of the most expensive elections in the country to contest, with a possibility to exceed the set ceiling. IBC requires candidates and parties to declare all the expenditure, including excesses. Several candidates have already begun their early campaigns. The Act provides to limit expenditure during an expenditure period. The Act provides to limit spending during an expenditure period. It, however, fails to clearly define it. According to ABC's election operations plan, the official campaign season will run between 30th of May 2022 and 6th August, being two days to the election. Question is, how will IBC monitor expenditure of all candidates in their tens of thousands and political parties in the election? Who is monitoring current expenditure by candidates and parties in early campaigns? Will expenditure committees comply with the Act and disclose all sources of funds and expenditure? Sam Gitukusrezen TV, Nairobi.